<laughs> uh, my name is Dolan Enlow, and I am the creator of the band slash project Sea of Glass. And yeah, that's me. My love for music started when I was pretty young. I've always um, just enjoyed music. Um, I come from a long line of musicians, and my, my grandparents on my dad's side were uh, my grandpa was a gospel singer, and my parents both made music. Um, and uh, all my some of my cousins make music and things like that. So I've always loved music, I've been around it my whole life, growing up and things like that. Um, and I just always wanted to do it myself. So when I was really young, I started picking up guitar and uh, just like songwriting from when I was about, I think I was about six or seven. And um, I just bought a Best Buy guitar. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I loved it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And um, basically just like since then, I've been just making music and um, trying to get better, doing my thing. So yeah, that's kind of where it comes from. So. <laughs> Pitbull on it's vinyl. It's timber. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great album. You know this album? Anderson Pac, can you listen to him? No, I haven't. You should. It's a nice album it's title, a though. great album. Malibu. I don't stand a chance. It's good. Donald, you look cute. Thanks, Dad. Uh, Chris. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Chris Dazzle do a... Dazzle your duo? Dazzle duo. My desire for music, I, um, you know, when I was, like I said, I, you know, grew up doing, um, being around music a lot and stuff. Um, but I did a lot of like, I was like in worship bands and stuff at church and things like that. So I kind of like liked being in a band and stuff. Kind of just growing up was fun to me, like in high school and middle school and, um, a little bit into college now, but I, I don't do it all that often anymore, but I used to a lot, um, do worship band. And so I kind of, uh, grew a desire for like band music from that. Um, and then I started kind of just like playing with the idea of making my own music a little bit. Um, not just like writing it, which I'd done, you know, you know since I was a kid, but like actually like sitting down and like recording it and turning it into something, um, that people could listen to. And, um, after a while I had enough to like put an EP together and, um, I was like, okay, sure. So I just did. And, um, yeah, so that's kind of how it started. Is it weird? You hear that? This <laughs> <laughs> is a gorgeous mic, actually. That is a gorgeous mic. See all the way from here. This is a great mic. The mono price? Yeah. yeah. It's a great mic. You like it? Yeah, it was very expensive. I have one other mic I like, but I don't like him as much as Ike. This <laughs> piano's just like broken. Look at this key. Doesn't work at all? Yeah, it just feels weird. <laughs> it's floppy. It's like clack, 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 clack. Oh my clack. god, do that again. That's floppy. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this album takes off and you can buy a new key. <laughs> we'll see. Not a new keyboard, just a new key. It's a single key.
Yeah, so um, Misdirection, the new album that uh, has been released, is um, kind of just supposed to be like an anthem for nothing. Basically, like, just you're supposed to, not you don't have to, but <laughs> supposed to listen to it when um, you're bored and cruising at night to go get something from the gas station or just, you know, you're, you're bored and want to relax or that kind of thing. It, it's, it's made basically for people who don't have a type of music and they don't know what they like because <laughs> like it's just it's very um it it like it doesn't have a specific place that it falls into uh genre wise um and it kind of just is like its own thing um it has a little bit of alternative vibe to it, it has um you know some some weird electronic stuff <laughs> some like 80s cycly type of things it's got some um, some disco vibes. It's got some some trap beats every now and then um, that if you just took some of the music out, it could sound like some trap. Um, it's got some cool drum stuff, you know, guitar, a little guitar heavy at, at times. But it, it, it has this vibe that you could just listen to it and not get tired of it um, because it's all different and it doesn't fall into the specific, like, pattern of what music, you know, is made out to be nowadays so yeah that, that was kind of the inspiration for it was like to build something that was different and like didn't fall into like those subcategories of what music should be or what genres should be so yeah generic go yeah yeah you never heard drum beats this good before i have not <laughs> Excuse me. Um, will you bring us back food? Yeah, would you text me what you want? Yeah. I'll help you order. Okay. And tell me what kind of sauces you want, too. Okay. Okay, thanks. Alright, bye. Bye. Fill up short, of course, of course, you came back, I was wrong, I was overthrown, so dethroned. So, misdirection to me, um, the reason it's labeled that there's a lyric in um, Taking My Girl that says this misdirection is something that I can't do. And um, basically that's like talking about like what people think and like what humanity thinks. Like, so there's like this conception in, in the world that like people have this specific place that they're supposed to go, almost like a destiny. And I'm just totally against that because I think that we can do whatever we want. And so we all are misdirected in this thought of like, we can only do this one thing or go this one place. And even the album artwork where it's like inside of your heart is like this specific like idea of like the sunset and this beach and like this thing that like I want to like, like we all like want to go to the beach and like that's our specific vacation thing we want. You know what I mean? Um, and we're like misdirected to think that that's where we need to go. But in reality, like the outside of the box thinking that's where like the oceans of our mind can really like flow and that's kind of what like that artwork means um but so we have this like thought of you know this specific place we want to go so like this misdirection is something i can't do because like i can't like i can't be misdirected anymore so that's kind of what the album is kind of based around that like musically lyrically all of that is just different and like i can't like stay in that same like concept of um you know direction that i'm all over the place <laughs> so yeah that's kind of what it is Dog's ripping up tissue. I got you red-handed, fella. You've been you've been exposed. Yeah, that's right. I get out of here. Disgusting.
scum. I'm going to rock your. Is there something I want a listener to take away from when they listen to Misdirection? Um, maybe not. Maybe I don't want anyone to take away anything, but I want them to feel something. Like, I think that music is a... It's, it's a reaction. Like, and it's not just... It's not a physical reaction. It's like a, you know... It's like a, an emotional reaction. And that's why you specifically like things you like and specifically hate things you don't when it's music. Like, some people hate country and love rap. Some people hate rock and, you know, love like classical you know what I mean and that's just because that's what you your emotions speak best with and what they fall in line with and I want to build an audience of people who can have that kind of reaction to what I make that can like identify with what's being said and what's being like played and and all of that that, that they can really um understand like the feeling behind what's being created and like what the point of it is because like the point of music is really like to give you a reaction in any in any case like that's that's music like you go to a concert and if everybody was just sitting there sitting on their hands and not moving those bands would hate that and they would think everyone hates their music because they have no emotional reaction um i'd rather have someone boo than do nothing so i mean I, I as long as i'm creating a reaction i think that's what i want the most from people like i want them to feel something so yeah it's kind of gross but it's true <laughs> cool Thank you.